Hello, it's Maggie. I'm going to make a video about Rihanna and her astrology chart. Uh, so she has the sun, the sun in Pisces, in the, in the uh, 12th house. And she has <clears throat> the ascendant in Aries, the moon in Aries, and Venus in Aries, and Jupiter in Aries. So Jupiter just really expands her personality. Venus gives her powers of attraction. People are attracted to her and she projects beauty into the world. <clears throat> attraction. And the moon, she presents herself very much in Aries, but she wears both sides of her personality very, very well on stage. The Piscean uh, fashion, and <clears throat> beauty, and, you know, the music, the fantasy, acting, all through our Piscean things. Um, so she has Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, up in Capricorn on her midheaven. So <clears throat> that's how she presents to the world. Um, so Aries, she presents Aries as well. And there's actually, she has a lot more planets in fire than she does water. In water, she has her sun, which, you know, is in Pisces, so she use, uses that in singing. <clears throat> she has Pluto and Scorpio in the seventh house of relationships. Uh, so those are her two water signs. She also has her North Node in Pisces, which she's living out. It's sort of like your destiny that you strive for in this lifetime. And not everyone, like, not everyone, hit you know <clears throat> accomplishes that. Um, you know, you just kind of strive towards it at times, but she's living her North Node in Pisces in the 12th house through her career in music. Um, so she has, the, the majority of her planets are all <clears throat> in, the, in the mid heaven, her career sector, or her des destiny, the public, public eye destiny in the world. She has, um, Mars and Sagittarius, that's all her international traveling, born in Barbados and just, you know, exposed to a lot of different cultures and languages. Uranus is just a planet of a lot of change, a lot of change, scenery, people, ideas. Um, Saturn, she has in Capricorn, that's, that's uh, the ruler of Capricorn, and it just really gives her a hard work ethic and the stamina and the ambition to just keep striving and get ahead. And Neptune, her ruler of Pisces, is up there as well in Capricorn, in the midheaven. So these four planets are all in this stellium in her midheaven, just giving her, uh, just putting her in the public eye. All her planets are above the horizon. That also tends to make one more social, more extroverted and in the public eye. But as a Pisces, she would want some time, time alone to herself at times. Um, yeah, the only one below the horizon, below the ascendant, the bottom half of the chart is Jupiter. But that still is in the first house in Aries. So that still gives her, makes her a dynamo. And it really gives her the the um, good luck and good fortune to have all this uh, career up in the up in the up in the tenth house, up in the career sector. So, yeah, it's just great. Now she's living out her life's mission so beautifully. Um, her, I just wanted to talk about her colors. Her colors she wears. Uh, she wears a lot of greens and blues and purple. That's her Pisces, you know. Purple symbolizes Neptune, like amethyst, you know, spiritual color. And <clears throat> um, blues and greens are the water sign colors. A lot of times I'll just dress according to the moon. It you know, makes it easy, like what colors to wear uh, for which, which day. You don't have to think about it. Um, yeah, so... But then the fire side of her, you know, she wears a lot of red, or sometimes she'll dress a little 
masculine you know, or like in the military or you know fatigues or um, or some of her lyrics as well to her songs you know like uh, bitch better have my money and love on the brain her latest song that's I really like her direct style so she project, projects the Aries you know the dominance <laughs> the dominance and aggression and, um, but at the same time, it represents, some of the lyrics represent her, her Pluto and Scorpio on the seventh house of, <clears throat> of relationship. She has Libra there, but she has a planet Pluto and Scorpio in the seventh house. So her relationships are colored um, Scorpio, Scorpionic and Plutonian with Pluto there. So it makes them, it can make them very obsessive and compulsive and, um, magnetic and sometimes there's such a magnetic attraction like this love on the brain song you know that that it's almost impossible to escape um, once you get caught up with a in a pluto relationship um, they're really tough to get out of and the darker side of the pluto and scorpio would be the, the one she had with chris brown and that was i'm sure that scarred her for life and that was uh played out in the public and um, it was very, very abusive and violent towards her, and that's the dark side of Pluto and Scorpio. So she just needs to be aware of uh, attracting those kinds of relationships. Um, oops, sorry, I just lost my recording. Uh. today <clears throat> having all these interruptions so yeah I just wanted to talk about her fashion the, 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 the compulsive obsessive relationships in the seventh house the magnetic attractions um, the, uh, everything on the mid heaven and her career and her son in Pisces so you know yeah a lot of her lyrics are just just pretty awesome you know those are the aggressive Aryan side. She has like five things in fire. <clears throat> Mars is mutable in Sagittarius, but it's fire. And then she has her ascendant, Jupiter, Venus, and the moon, all in the first house in Aries. So, you know, her, her lyrics like, bitch better have my money, <laughs> dressing up like a pimp, or just like sometimes she'll wear like, you know, just you know, dress a little masculine, and that could be that could be Aries, you know. And then she can go the total opposite, the, the ultra ultra feminine, and you know, go into her Piscean, Neptunian mode. So, uh, I really love the her, her dynamic, the way she just sort of switches roles like that, and plays that out very well. So that's about it for Rihanna. Um, yeah. <clears throat> a wonderful singer, wonderful chart, very gifted person. A lot of her aspects, she has a lot of, uh, a lot of trines and a lot of sextiles, easy flowing, harmonious aspects. You know, and just you know, a few squares and oppositions, but mostly, predominantly, predominantly what sticks out are the, uh, you know, a lot of conjunctions, the stellium of planets all together in the same sign, on her midheaven and Aries. And then there's the Pisces all by itself, but in the twelfth house and Mercury in an air sign. And that's that's it. That's it. So her, but she has a lot of Earth, and that's all on her midheaven, and so that's her career. Her Earth is very practical, and, you know, materialistic, and it, so it just brings all this material stuff to her easily because, you know, it's attractive to her. Um, so, so she's all from fire and earth, and she has one in air, and that's Mercury, planet of communication in a, in a fellow air sign in Aquarius. And she has uh, Pluto and the sun in water, and 
the North Node in water, which is living through her music in the world. So, um, hope you enjoy this about Rihanna, and uh, I hope she keeps on making her.